We tend to move in, if we do a two ball version of it, right now I'm kind of avoiding the slower just pass and set, but I do like either you send it over on one or you set somebody and they jump and hit the second contact. So only two contacts. You can use one, so keep everyone honest. If you see a broken play or an opening, take advantage of it. If not, if you want, put the ball up in front of someone, they'll jump up and hit it, okay? Go. Go. No. You got to hit it. Move. Good. Send it. Good. There it is. Hit it. There's the. Good. All right. Come on. Good. There we go. Perfect. You guys get the point. So at this point, we would talk a little bit about if I were to correct them now, they're moving up and down quite a bit. They're pretty inconsistent in where they're going in their positions. So they're moving like bees flying around all over the place instead of a straight line movement. So efficiency in movement and better posture and control of your body is gonna make the drill significantly better. So let's see if we can do that. There you go, way to move the right way. There you go. Immediately you saw them get into better posture, they move better, they play better. Just is what it is. So if we can get our players to be in that type of frame of mind and control a body, then quality goes through the roof. Um, the, any questions on this or this version of the drill? Anyone have other drills that are like this that you guys like to run? No? I mean, I'll add a fourth and have the middle set and everyone go around. Penn State runs it where they have six on six and they have to have 50 cooperative touches in a row before they start practice, where the middle sets. Doesn't matter who's in the middle, every time they rotate, they throw the ball up. That's Penn State. Rush Rose, I think, for a long time did a pretty good job. He did it because it mentally stressed them and they knew they had to do it. So over the course of the season, they got better and better at it because they just prepared earlier and executed better when they needed to. Simple vortex drill, but if you put pressure on it, it can cause really good results as long as it's healthy and you explain that you need to come on the court and not be the kid who screws up the 49th ball. Yeah. in this like why do you have them rotating all the ways in that one direction versus middle coming and filling what's the I don't I would do it I change it quite a bit um, I like chaos so if they can handle changing so sometimes I'll have them go the other way it's why I like running cross court pepper on the left side and then I move them over to the right side so it immediately changes the, the dynamics and focus we don't work enough on right back defense anyway, so it's a great drill to get that training. No, I'll change that, that's a great point, especially in when we add, if you add static setters, we will change how we rotate. Sometimes we'll rotate this way, we'll fill hitters out, whatever, we'll just change it and we'll change it on the fly. So good point, but definitely something, the more you can change it, the more they're constantly evaluating were their opponent in that kind of moment. So it's, if they can recognize and adapt, then that'll translate down the court.